the average person eats over 60 pounds of refined white sugar every single year. This sugar consumption being blamed for most health issues, the source of all our problems. I made a video last week showing you guys how to do a nice little cream soda, lemonade recipe. I thought you guys were gonna nail me to a cross because half the comments were people freaking out about the sugar content, but it's not that simple. There are many modern factors creating a combination of negatives resulting in health declining. One is the quality, how refined sugar is made, and the foods that refined sugar is typically contained in also have quality issues. Two is gut microbiome status, most people having dysbiosis, imbalances for various reasons. And three is Wi-Fi EMF damaging digestive organs needed to process that sugar. One story that comes to mind is famous basketball player Wilt Chamberlain was said to have drank a two liter Coca-Cola bottle every game he played. I think it was even more than that, but you have seemingly healthy people, superstar athletes consuming incredible amounts of sugar. Going back to the field, how the sugar is grown, agrochemicals, pesticides, herbicides, insecticides are sprayed on sugarcane or sugar beets, which will translate directly to the finished white sugar product or whatever it's being used in. White sugar is refined with several toxic chemicals, sulfur dioxide, phosphoric acid, calcium hydroxide, and also degrading the quality of the sugar by heating it extensively, making it more difficult for the body to process. And there's an interesting anecdote you can experience for yourself. You have a regular baked treat or normal ice cream with white sugar, crappy ingredients, and your teeth will feel like they're going to fall out. When I eat my cookie recipe, high quality ice cream I've made in the past with top tier ingredients, everything organic, as high quality as possible, I don't get that feeling in my mouth. And that's because the composition of refined white sugar creates this type of corrosive environment in your mouth for bad bacteria. As with anything related to nutrition, the status of your gut microbiome is very important, including the type of probiotic foods that you should be consuming on a daily basis. When you eat anything, it has to be processed by your digestive system, the liver, the pancreas, the small intestine. But what people overlook is the bacteria, the yeast, the fungus present that are also helping to break down that food, especially sugar. They love glucose, fructose, sugar as fuel. It's hard to give an exact percentage, but yeah, it could be over 50% of digestion just from the microbiome. If you have a good balance with proper strains of bacteria, when you consume a food, it will be broken down and there will be a nice balance of processing by the bacteria, a nice balance of processing by the organs, or it could be the complete opposite. The wrong strains of bacteria could be going crazy out of control and your digestive organs could be dysfunctioning, not producing the right things. I mean, there's so many negative factors, it can be very difficult to pinpoint the catalyst of what does cause your microbiome issues. But one thing for certain is that constant Wi-Fi, EMF, radiation exposure to even just our cell phones, microwaves, any modern device is inhibiting the function of our organs, which can in turn cause improper digestion and over long periods of time, cause permanent damage in the body. Yeah, I mean, just temporary exposure to some type of radiation is not technically a problem. It's a little bit of oxidative damage, but over five, 10, 15, 20 years with all of this other crap going on, that's the problem. What ties in directly with the microbiome is Wi-Fi EMF damaging those digestive organs. The end result of what happens can technically be the same, but the aspect of digestion we're examining is different. You could have impaired liver and pancreatic function, which means your body will not produce enough enzymes to digest the food or enough insulin to regulate the glucose. The oxidative damage caused by radiation from our modern devices accumulates with all of these other inflammatory lifestyle factors, such as the seed oils, the chemicals in our food supply to create organ damage that can be reversed, but is typically lived with and accepted as chronic disease. If you take the proper mix of digestive enzymes and probiotics, you can alleviate this damage and these issues until the body is back to a natural state of function. If you think about how the American diet has changed over the past 40, 50, 60 years, 
all we've really done is reduce our meat consumption in most cases. The amount of sugar carbohydrates consumed has been relatively the same. So why is sugar such an issue now? I'm led to believe it's the increased amount of Wi-Fi EMF radiation in our environment. So if this wasn't a more present factor now in 2021, if it was just these issues, even if you know it was my parents consuming refined sugar when they were kids, it's greatly exacerbated by too many different factors. So hopefully this gives you guys more of an understanding of why I'm comfortable eating sugar and showing you guys certain recipes. And one thing I do want to emphasize is, you know, me drinking that water kefir on a consistent basis, it's really the reason I'm able to consume a large amount of sugar. Like, like having one cookie, having a cup of soda might not be an issue, but if you're doing it every meal, which I kind of am, the water kefir, those strains of bacteria are actually designed to eat sugar. So that might also explain a little bit for you guys. Uh, but thanks for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank defilocom and support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.